Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Kyle Kuzma, who is the lock and reward for the Season Rewind West set, um, but also he is free. Do not lock this card in ever under any circumstances. Do not do it. He is free. This card is free. I got him for free, and you can get him for free from the Diamond-4-All locker code that 2K dropped yesterday to make up for their mistake. Uh, just it, it doesn't really matter what the mistake, what happened. It was an MT glitch, but it got removed. All the MT got removed from accounts. Whatever. Moving on. But they dropped a locker code for a free choice between Kuzma and Rudy Gobert, who I'm also doing a gameplay on. And, uh, yeah, I chose Kuzma on my account. So here we are with this Kuzma gameplay. Going to try him out for free and see how good he is offensively kuzma was incredible last year one of the best releases in the entire game we'll see how it's looking this year before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 16,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day i know it's the beginning of december where we're like 650 ish subscribers away from 16k i'd really like to hit that by 2024 that'd be like a really really nice number to finish out at the end of the year um so we really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado kuzma six foot nine at small forward so he's got really good size a small forward power forward not as much size uh but it might fit in better considering the lack of defense 96 offense 90 defense 92 driving layup 92 close shot 84 midi 86 three ball 85 a driving dunk 87 free throw 86 free throw i'm sorry 86 ball handle um 75 block 78 steel 83 perimeter and interior 83 rebounding 85 speed 80 excel 81 speed ball 83 lateral quickness i actually think because of the lack of defensive badges which were about a c 10 offs or fast twitch fearless finisher posterizer catch and shoot corner specialist green machine guard up precision dunker big driver and physical handles as well as 16 gold badges which include uh, acrobat slithery claymore bailout chase stars pogo stick bunny scooper spin cycle two-step whistle free points open looks bulldozer silver pro touch break starter and interceptor workhorse rebound chaser blow by and then bronze blinders handles for days hyperdrive killer combos off off pest and float game with the lack of defensive badges and the offensive versatility that he has as like a really good slasher but also a catch and shoot shooter he fits really well as a pick and pop power forward in a lineup in a way that he doesn't fit the three and i understand he's a little bit undersized at power forward and he's not the greatest defender but I think he fits better there because a lot of people are using small power forwards anyway and his release is still really good it's not quite as good as last year's but it's still a very smooth quick fast easy release so he's going to be a really good catch and shoot shooter he's very athletic half post riser great slashing badges really good player build this card is very good at the four I don't think he's that great at the three because defensively he's just not that good and that matters because you can't really effectively do a lot uh, with him I would say in terms of um, defense defending at the three and at the three I really want to lock at the four I don't generally care quite as much because the guy he's guarding generally doesn't do as much shot creation even if he winds up guarding a Kevin Durant or a Pascal Siakam or somebody along those lines or obviously you could switch a matchup and have him guard an AK or somebody along those lines if need be as well but he also strikes me player build wise as somebody who's going to feel better defensively than the stats and badges say kind of like michael beasley and if that's the case that would also be really really nice so as a whole kuzma really good free card but uh definitely not worth the lock-in by in the slightest but if you pick him for free i think he's pretty good especially at the four and i definitely think he's a better choice than rudy uh especially if you're looking for somebody to add to your lineup so let's hop into a game see what kyle kuzma can do I'm not going to lie. This is a very, very booty team that we're playing against Amethyst D. Rose, Sapphire KD. Like, this is a really bad matchup. I don't even know if I want to show this for actual gameplay simply because the matchup is so poor. I just missed wide open first possession, which is pretty bad. My bad for sure. But let's get a couple threes. I think I might need to. We'll see how he is offensively, what this is looking like. But if he's going to basically leave me open and I can just kind of get whatever I want every single possession, it's basically like playing the CPU, then we might go into another game. Although I can't shoot right now. So, 0 for 2 so far starting off very poorly i will say his release is not quite as good as it was last year kuzma's isn't but it's not terrible either um and let's see what we can do defensively man is he going to be able to score at all derrick rose attacking off the dribble if I, i'm honestly tempted to like let him score a little bit there we go he gets to the rim and dunks it okay well we have a competitive ish game so let's see let's let's give him a chance at least um because he did get to the rim well with derrick rose there i will give him that um uh, and we'll see what happens not the most competitive matchup but i'm kind of okay with that hopefully that means we can cook up with kuz because we have not played very well start off the game missing two wide open shots is generally not what you're looking for but let's go right here he's gonna uh overclose out i think oh there we go slippers come on kuz easy layup look at the finish tons of space for that layup as well he knocks it down we will take it at the rim good stuff by 
Kyle Kuzma. Let's play some defense here. Good D. Wall up. Straight up. Contest. Yep. We're good. And now let's, let's actually get a stop. There we go. Good D. We guard the rim, rim run really well. That's my ball somehow. I thought that was off Paul George, but apparently that was off MJ, I guess. So we'll take it. Let's go pick and pop. Let's get ourselves a three ball and let's start to stretch this lead a little bit. He's pausing me because he doesn't think it should be my ball. And I kind of agree with him. It looked like it was off my Paul George, but I will take the ball and I will pump fake. And we're going to run a pick and roll and we're going to reject the screen and we're going to stop and we're going to pop and we're going to shoot another early. What am I shooting right now? I'm going to start attacking the rim with Kyle Kuzma because I'm shooting. I'm forcing the three ball a little bit. Missed a couple of open shots early, but now I'm just kind of forcing. And he goes right by me for a dunk. Hold up. We're in a competitive game right now. It's the team that I probably should not be in a competitive game with. I was literally talking about how it was going to be free and I should just go find another matchup. But now we're getting popped. That's not a good look at all if that happens. Uh, safe side burst. Kyle Kuzma attack the rim. Get in. Yo, we're getting popped. Good help off the hash. I'm actually getting dogged. This is kind of funny. Show me some defense, Kuzma. Okay, never mind. Oh, my gosh. Hey, am I going to lose? Hold on. This would be a bad loss. I got to lock it in. Kuzma, we got to get you going, my boy. Let's go. Come on. Come set me a screen. Uh, let's attack the rim. Get through the... Yo, bad screen. Not even... A, he didn't even set a screen, but that's okay. We're going to come here. We're going to come off the screen. Stop and pop. And there we go. Kuzma cut knocks down the mid-range. Start getting to some shots because your release is still good. It's not quite as good as it was last year, but it's still solid. Start getting to some spots, knocking down some shots. Maybe we can attack the rim, get ourselves a dunk or two. Let's see if we can get some stuff going with Kuzma. Uh, maybe use him as a screener a little bit. Did he just green a three? Okay, that was a long two. I was going to say, free agent MJ green and a fade three. That would be kind of impressive. Uh, I'm kind of impressed by this dude's gameplay with the team that he's running right now in general, though, to be honest. So feeling like I talked too much junk, to be honest. Uh, that is wide open for three with Kuzma. Oh, my God spacing come on guys yo what is this what am i seeing right now out to kuzma again he's not giving up the pop anymore i respect it uh okay why am i boxed right now by sapphires attack the rim kuzma all the way he gets the layup to go at the end of the possession thank you for bailing me out kyle kuzma showing off the driving ability and able to finish at the rim and that's a pretty clutch shot too all right kate you got to defend here beautiful we scarred that step back really well helping down on ewing ewing can't do anything though oh i gotta hold on hold on hold on get back we only have good good d we can test we get the board we run the floor Kyle Kuzma, Euro step. Hey, oh my goodness, Kyle Kuzma, nice move. Attack the rim and finish. That's a great Euro step. I love these like Euro step scoop layup, spin move, that type of stuff this year. It's kind of they're a little more effective than they've been in previous years, and that's pretty cool. That should have been a steal, bro. Like block for some. Should have had a steal, I feel like, uh, but unfortunately, the ball just goes through my body and then tried to get the, get back for the block. Wasn't quite there. Kuzma catch and shoot in transition. That's a little bit of a force, not open, and I throw a steal off of the offensive rebound as well. He tried to throw a steal as well, but unfortunately, my PG did not contest it, and he's going to green that. Yo, I'm down five against a team with Sapphire. With Ruby, Ruby Patrick Ewing is on the court, and I'm down five. This is embarrassing. I got to lock it in. Come on. Let's win this game. He's got MJ guarding Kuzma now why are you sweating my Kyle Kuzma man chill on me come on dunk the ball let's go Kuz at least Kuz is hooping offensively 10 points but we are doing nothing defensively against a very bad team this is embarrassing let's get some defense going come on step good step out you got a d up for me Kuz let's go stay up on him You're, he's got pretty good defensive stats 80 plus perimeter and interior decent lateral quickness like he's got some stuff on him yep beautiful there we go there's the stop and Kuzma's running the floor stop in transition stop and pop Kuz I need it bang let's go Kuz big three ball he is a shooter and he makes a play off the dribble right there that's a confident shot to pull up in transition there instead of taking my dunk but I needed it and Kyle Kuzma coming through in the clutch for your boy love to see it uh x switch there as well kuzma is going to get blown by but it's okay because we got help nope he got blown by that's the lack of clamps right there and that right there is why we're playing him a small forward not power forward because we don't really want him having a guard derrick rose too much being the lock or anything like that uh but burst here let's tack through the rim uh, get downhill and hit our pop that's too open don't leave kuzma don't leave kyle kuzma open 16 points he has all of our points in this game and even though i started off rough offensively this has been a great performance now defensively i'm giving up a crap ton of points to a team that i should not be letting literally letting score but that is totally on me uh, and I, I, Kuzma's not a good defender anyway. He, we're here for offense. That's why he's playing the four is so that we can use his offense more and have his defense be less of a liability. But I uh, need to D up here. We need to get a stop here is what we really need to do. And Kuzma can X switch this and now he'll play low. And now we go. No way. Come on, PG. You're getting slipped behind by Sapphire KD. 
All right. All right. Well, down one, six seconds left. Can we'll go pick and pop again. And I'm either going to take my dunk with SGA or I'm going to take my three with Kuzma. We're going to live with the results at that point. If he if he defends both of them, um, then he deserves a lot of credit, I guess is what I'm going to say, because that's what I'm going to. And if he guards it, he guards it. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. I might just go to a SGA backdoor. I'm going to an SGA backdoor. Screw it. Screw it. Let's just go mash him. Let's just go mash him. Screw it. I'm just going to go win the game. I, I could have gone to the pick and pop, but it would take a while to develop maybe. And if, if something didn't work properly, it might not be good. So with him playing that high with D-Rose, I'm just going to cut with SGA. And let's see if we can get a stop. Don't make the same mistake that he did. I actually am going to make the mistake, mistake that he did, or at least I'm going to pretend to, but I'm not actually. Oh my God. I made a different mistake and gave up a wide open three that he missed. Oh, my gosh. I tried to sell that game. 16.711 for the field, though. Kuzma played awesome offensively. He's actually really solid at power forward. Let's hop back to the main menu. Let's review the card. Kuzma is a really good offensive card, but defensively, the liability that he is there to a certain extent, at least, means that he probably fits better at power forward. I don't think he's great at power forward. I don't think he's like elite elite, but I think he's top 10 ish. I don't know exactly if I'm going to rank him top 10 or not. We'll see when I get to my top 10 power forwards here in a couple days, but he's good. I don't think he's great. I'm not totally sure how to feel about this Kuzma card. I just that's the honest truth. I don't really know how I feel about this card as a whole right now. Um, I think he's pretty good. He's better than Gobert, I think, in terms of his viability, at least at a competitive level. But I think he might also get hunted defensively a little bit in certain matchups, which is kind of annoying. Um, he's a good card, but not quite elite because of the defensive question mark that he is. So that is good for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.